Hi, and welcome to module one. In this module, we're going to get an introduction to Erlang. So we're going to see where Erlang came from, how it was basically derived. We're going to see what it's used for. What is Erlang all about? How is it different from other languages? Because if you've not done anything with Erlang, it's going to be quite different than a lot of the languages that you're used to. So we're going to get into getting familiar with the syntax. We're going to create some functions. How do you pass parameters into functions? How do you define functions? And that'll help us with a little bit of hands-on with Erlang's syntax. We'll work with tuples in Erlang as well. So they're used a little bit frequent in Erlang. We'll see how lists work. We'll kind of get an introduction to list. We'll see how to compile files in lists. So we can create a program in a file. Then we need to compile it so it can be run. So we'll see how that works. And then the module is going to end with process IDs, which we can see how you spawn a process and work with it, how do you terminate it. We're going to do logical comparisons in Erlang, kind of similar to uh, if, then, else in other languages, if you're familiar with that. Although Erlang doesn't quite have that set up, it has something that works um, similar to it, though. We'll see how tuples work in Erlang because they're a big part of Erlang. We'll see how to create a program, save it as an ERL file, an Erlang file. We'll compile it. And then we'll also work with process IDs. As well in this module, we see where do you go get the Erlang shell, how do you install it, and get it up and running. So let's go ahead and dive right in.